This video is about creating an animation of a ball rotating around a center point. We are going to solve this problem using Java language. You can see here in the frame that ball is rotating around a center point. So first let us understand the problem statement that we want to solve. So problem is rotating ball around a point. It states that apply concepts of multi-threading and graphics programming in Java to create a GUI based application that animates a rotating ball in clockwise direction around some center point. So it can be seen in picture in this form. There is a ball that is following a circular path and is rotating in clockwise direction with reference to this center point. Before we understand the code that we need to write, we need to understand the data members that we are going to use. So we represent center point using X origin and Y origin. So that is the center point of a circular path that this smaller circle is going to follow. And the radius of that bigger circle is represented using this radius variable. Now at any point we have a ball. So that is going to make some angle with reference to X axis. So that we represent using angle variable. Now let's try to find out the position of that small circle or we call it as a ball. So its x value will be radius multiplied by cos theta and y value will be radius multiplied by sine theta. So here we have represented theta as a angle that this circle is making with reference to x axis. But this value which is represented using ball origin x and ball origin y these are values with reference to origin is at 0 0 but we see that our origin is not at 0 0 it is at x origin and y origin so to get the exit value of ball origin x and ball origin y we need to add x origin and y origin into respective calculation so our ball origin x will become as x origin plus radius multiplied by cos angle and ball origin y will become as y origin plus radius multiplied by sine angle so those were the uh, data members we are going to use now another thing we need to understand uh, that is the difference between cartesian coordinate system and java or screen coordinate system in cartesian coordinate system we have x direction in this way and y direction or y axis in the upward direction whereas in java or screen coordinate system x direction or x axis is same but y direction is in the opposite direction so y axis is a flipped axis so when we increment angle so ball will move in the clockwise direction so actually in cartesian coordinate system if we increment the angle it goes in the counterclockwise direction but because in java or screen the y-axis is flipped on incrementing the angle the ball will rotate in the clockwise direction okay now let's see the program so we write our frame class which is extended from frame class and it is implementing runnable and as we discussed earlier the data members that we need to use so we have x origin y origin radius and ball radius so here radius I will assume as 100 and ball radius as 20 which we can customize. Then we also need a current angle. So the angle that we had seen here, this angle we are representing as a current angle because at every time the angle will change. And because we want to create animation we need to use this uh, thread object. So we have taken this thread reference variable. Now let's see the constructor. So this constructor will be called from the main method so let me show you the main method first you can see here main method we create object of rotating ball so this is a constructor so here we are taking x origin and y origin so i have not fixed this x origin and y origin so that is the actually center point of the bigger circle and the initial angle we are passing as a parameters to this construct now let's see the main methods in main method we are creating an object of a rotating ball frame which is our frame class i'm passing x origin y origin and current angle is zero 
then we need to set the size of frame which is 400 cross 400 and we make set visible true so that our frame will be visible and we are setting title as a rotating ball so that is visible as a title of the frame now let's come back to the constructor so in the constructor we are taking this x origin y origin we are assigning to this data member and we make current angle as the initial angle that we are passing from the constructor and we set the background of the frame as black and we create a thread uh, using this new thread and we are passing uh, this which is actually the implementation of runnable interface we are passing this current object and uh, this i'm passing as the uh, name of the thread then we say thread dot start so we know that when we call thread dot start it is going to call run method and run method is the method where we are going to write our animation logic so let's see the run method so in the run method it is a continuous loop and at every time we are incrementing angle by two degree and after incrementing angle we need to call repaint method so that it is going to call paint method so behind the scene when we call repaint method update method will be called the screen will be cleared that is the frame content will be cleared and paint method will be called and while paint method is called graphics object will be passed so using that graphics object we will be able to create any drawing operation and because we want to create animation we need to put our thread into slip state so we put thread into slip state for 100 millisecond and because it is throwing interrupted exception we need to handle it using try catch block so this is our uh, run method which will run forever and now let us see about what we need to write in the paint method so let's see the paint method so this is a paint method so first we draw ball path so we set the pen color as a white and then we draw an oval now when we draw an oval we need to understand what parameters we need to pass to that so it is taking the x point and y point of of a rectangle which is the starting point and width and height of a rectangle let's try to understand using this so suppose this is the uh, center point of a radius that we have calculated so we want to draw this circle so draw oval is not taking this point as an input draw oval or fill oval is taking this point as input so now we know that this much distance is the is equal to radius so we need to go in the reverse direction by amount radius that is in the x direction in the same way we need to go into y direction by radius amount so this we are going to use while we are performing draw oval or fill oval method call so that is what we have written here we say g dot draw oval x origin minus radius y origin minus radius and the width and height is uh, it is double of radius so that you can see here the total width of this square is radius multiplied by 2 and height is radius multiplied by 2 so that is what we are passing here and once we draw this uh, ball path and that should be done every time because we call repaint method so we draw this ball path and then now we'll do calculation to draw the ball field ball that is moving to print that we need to find out the center point of ball so we call it as a ball origin x and ball origin y which represent x axis value and y axis value respectively and earlier we have seen that calculation so we get origin using radius multiply by cos theta and here the uh, cos theta or sin theta or any trigonometric function that takes angle in radian and we have considered angle in degree so we need to convert that angle in from degree into radian so that we can easily do by multiplying the angle in degree with math dot pi and divide it by 180 so that will give us angle in radian so we calculate that uh, math dot cos theta and we multiply with the radius so we'll get this ball origin x in same way we perform our sine theta we get ball origin y and using this value we try to draw the ball now here ball origin x and ball origin y these are with reference to origin 0 0 so we need to do adjustment whenever we draw that particular ball so now let's draw that ball now so we set color as a blue color and we use function called g dot fill oval now here we are doing that adjustment so we have ball origin x that is the center point and it is relative to 0 0 now our origin is x origin and y origin so we say x origin plus ball origin x and same way y origin plus ball origin y 
so this is actually center point and as we discussed earlier that we need to go by radius amount back in x direction and radius by radius amount in y direction so that we are subtracting from uh, this value so we'll get the exit position of the ball that we want to fill and the width and height is ball radius multiplied by 2 that is the width and ball radius multiplied by 2 that is the height so this is our uh, paint method now let's run the program so now you can see that we are able to create animation so in this video we have learned how to apply concepts of mathematics to create this animation in the same way you can try out other similar problems where any mathematics is involved thanks for watching and happy learning